Now in this final video for Dreamweaver CC working with images, we're going to look at how to optimize images with the property inspector. So we'll be using Dreamweaver to scale and optimize images for the web. So we're in news.html and we're going to go into design view. So I'm going to unclick live. So now we're in design. And then we're going to insert the cursor at the beginning of the shopping green saves energy heading. So let's find that one. There it is, right at the beginning. And we're going to choose insert image image. Insert image image. And we're going to get over to our images. And this time we're going to find, let's see which image we want to use here. Um, I'm thinking, I think the farmer's market. Do we like that one? Yeah, I think we like that one. There we go. Already an issue, but we'll work with it. We're going to need to first add our alt text by local to save energy. So our message we're trying to convey. And we're going to apply the class float right to the image. So we're on the image class float right. Oh, much better. Now it makes sense, right? You're at first, you're like, what are you doing, Instructor Chronister? I had that plan all along. Okay, so now that we have it on the right, it's still a little too large. So let's use Dreamweaver to fix the image composition. If necessary, open your properties panel. You can go to Windows property. I have it already open down here. And there's buttons here that we can use to edit the image in Photoshop or Fireworks, or just to adjust various settings in place. So we're going to just use the tools we have to adjust them. So we're going to select the farmer's market image. We already have it selected. And if necessary, we're going to lock or constrain the width and the height so that if we change the width, it automatically updates the height. And we're going to change the width to 300 and hit enter. Hmm. I still don't quite like it. I want it to be 300 by 312. So I'm going to unconstrain them. And then I'm going to change this to 312. Yeah, I like that. That fills in better. So once I have the 300 by 312, I'm going to hit the check mark to commit. It's like, are you sure? Because you can't undo. Yes, I'm sure. I like it. I think it looks great. And click to submit. And that's how we resize images within Dreamweaver. So if you bring in an image that's too small, Please don't just apply classes to make it smaller with percentages. It still is going to drag your website down if it has to load the large file than just to shrink it. We want to resize when we can within Dreamweaver to impact the ultimate photo size so that when your website loads, it loads as fast as it can. And Dreamweaver provides us the tools. And that's it for this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe if you had, and I will see you next time.